Students, this is NCRT exercise problem 1.24 from page number 27 of some basic concepts of chemistry. So, let's read this statement. Dinitrogen and dihydrogen react with each other to produce ammonia according to the following chemical equation. The equation is N2 plus 3 H2 give rise to 2 NH3. Okay. So, there are three questions. The first one is calculate the mass of ammonia produced if 2.00 into 10 raised to power 3 gram of N2 react with 1.00 into 10 raised to power 3 gram of H2. The second question is will any of the two reactant remain unreacted and the third one is if yes which one and what would be its mass. Now in this question they have given you a reaction that is N2 reacts with 3H2 and give rise to 2NH3 right. So now in first question they are saying if you will react 2000 gram of nitrogen with 1000 gram of hydrogen how much ammonia will be produced right and the second one if any of the reactant remain unreacted that means in this reaction if any one is the excess reagent you have to tell about that reactant right and uh, if yes which one which will be the excess reagent and you have to calculate the mass of that excess reagent right so to solve the equation first of all we'll see the reaction so in this reaction n2 plus 3h2 give rise to 2NH3 right now if we'll see reaction one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen and form two moles of ammonia but if you'll see the equation you are having mass of nitrogen and mass of hydrogen so your first target will be to convert this mass into moles right so let's see the formula of moles. So number of moles of N2 equal to actual mass of N2 divided by molar mass of N2 right first we will find the number of moles of nitrogen present in 2000 gram and then afterwards number of moles of hydrogen in 1000 gram then we will see the less number of moles in between these two reactants right and uh, uh, on the basis of less number of moles we will apply the unitary method right so first we will see the number of moles of nitrogen so actual mass of nitrogen we are having 2000 gram right and molar mass of nitrogen will be simply uh, add atomic masses of nitrogens right so atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 gram per mole there are two nitrogens so I'll multiply this 14 gram per mole with two right so 14 into 2 28 gram per mole let's put the values so number of moles of nitrogen is represented by small n subscript n2 right so equal to actual mass of nitrogen 2000 gram divided by molar mass of nitrogen that is 28 gram per mole so i'll cancel this gram with this 2000 divided by 28 the answer is 71.43 now here we are having mole inverse in denominator when I'll take this mole inverse in numerator it will be mole. I'm having moles of nitrogen now let's find the moles of hydrogen right. So again number of moles of hydrogen equal to actual mass of hydrogen divided by molar mass of hydrogen right so actual mass of hydrogen we are having 1 into 10 raised to power 3 gram that means 1000 gram and molar mass of 
हाइड्रोजन इक्वल टू अटोमिक मास ऑफ वन हाइड्रोजन दैट इज वन ग्राम पर मोल आई एम हैविंग टू हाइड्रोजन सो इन टू टू वन इन टू 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 ग्राम पर मोल इज द आंसर नाउ लेट्स फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बाय पुटिंग द वैल्यूज सो एन सबस्क्रिप्ट एच टू इक्वल टू एक्चुअल मास दैट इज थाउजेंड ग्राम डिवाइडेड बाय मोलर मास दैट इज टू ग्राम पर मोल सो टू वन दू एंड टू फाइव हंड्रेड द थाउजेंड राइट सो नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आई एम हैविंग फाइव हंड्रेड मोल्स राइट now if we'll see number of moles of hydrogen equal to 500 mole and number of moles of nitrogen equal to 71.43 mole right less number of moles are present in nitrogen so we will see that how much hydrogen will react with 71.43 moles of nitrogen so we'll apply unitary method so according to the reaction uh, let's write the reaction again n2 plus 3h2 give rise to 2nh3 right this is the reaction here one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen and produce two moles of ammonia right so now let's apply the unitary method so you can write one mole of nitrogen and two reacts with hydrogen equal to 3 moles right and uh, i'm having 71.43 moles in 2000 gram of nitrogen so 71.43 moles of nitrogen reacts with hydrogen equal to here i'm applying unitary method so this value on the right side is taken in numerator divided by the first value on the left side that is 1 mole into the second value on the left side 71.43 mole so i'll cancel this mole with this 3 divided by 1 equal to 3 so 3 into 71.43 the answer is 214.29 mole that means 214.29 moles of hydrogen reacts with 71.43 mole of nitrogen and rest out of 500 moles will remain unreacted that means uh, we are having hydrogen as excess reagent right so let's solve the first question now the first question is calculate the mass of ammonia produced if 2000 g of nitrogen react with 1000 g of hydrogen now i know that nitrogen is limiting reagent right so if nitrogen is limiting reagent whole reaction is controlled by this nitrogen only that means 71.43 moles will control the production of ammonia right again we will apply unitary method over here you can write as nitrogen is limiting reagent so the production of ammonia is controlled by nitrogen right so here we'll apply unitary method according to the reaction so i know that one mole of nitrogen produce two moles of ammonia right so one mole of nitrogen react with three moles of hydrogen and produce ammonia equal to 2 moles right so 71.43 moles of nitrogen react with 
214.29 mole of hydrogen and produce ammonia equal to now don't consider this 3 mole as well as this 214.29 mole right here we are just looking for nitrogen's mole only right so if i am applying unitary method over here so 2 mole divided by this first value that is 1 mole into this second value on the left side that is 71.43 moles right so i'll cancel mole with this mole right 2 divided by 1 equal to 2 2 into 71.43 the answer is 142.86 moles that means 71.43 moles of nitrogen will produce 142.86 moles of ammonia right but we have to find the mass of ammonia so we know that formula moles of ammonia equal to actual mass over molar mass of ammonia right so actual mass we have to find right so i'll take this actual mass on one side and multiply this molar mass with number of moles right so moles of ammonia into molar mass of ammonia right here we are having number of moles of ammonia but we are not having the value of molar mass of ammonia so first of all we'll find molar mass of ammonia molar mass of ammonia equal to simply add the atomic masses of the atoms present in this molecule right so atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 gram per mole plus atomic mass of hydrogen 1 gram per mole into i am having three atoms over here so into three right so 14 plus 1 into 3 equal to 3 just take the units common gram per mole 14 plus 3 the answer is 17 gram per mole. Now, let's find the actual mass of ammonia. So, actual mass of ammonia equal to number of moles of ammonia. That is 142.86 moles into molar mass of ammonia. 17 gram per mole simply cancel this mole inverse with this mole right so 142.86 into 17 the answer is 2428.6 gram right that means 2428.6 gram of ammonia will produce when you will react 2000 gram of nitrogen with hydrogen right the next question is will any of the two reactant remain unreacted definitely hydrogen is the excess reagent so you can write second question hydrogen will remain unreacted right Third question is if yes, which one and what would be its mass? Definitely hydrogen is the excess reagent and now we have to find the mass of hydrogen, right? So number of moles of hydrogen taken equal to five hundred mole because in one thousand gram there are five hundred moles, right? So number of moles of hydrogen reacted equal to 214.29 moles so can we find the number of moles of hydrogen unreacted so number of moles of hydrogen unreacted 
equal to total number of moles minus number of moles reacted that is 214.29 moles so when you will subtract 214.29 from 500 the answer will be 285.71 mole now you have to find the mass of unreacted hydrogen right so we know the formula that mass of H2 remain unreacted equal to number of moles of hydrogen unreacted into molar mass of hydrogen so number of moles of hydrogen unreacted equal to 285.71 mole into molar mass 2 gram per mole so cancel this mole inverse with mole right so when you will multiply 285.71 with 2 the answer will be 571.42 gram that means this much amount of hydrogen remains unreacted.